What's up YouTube and welcome to the Amphigator. Today we got a box here from LTB, Lucky Taco Box, and uh, we're gonna open it up and check it out. And it's the Bass XL. So open it up. We got a letter here first. And they're the bait change alert. I guess they're gonna add on here a brush jig. It wasn't included. So they included something else instead. They included a perfection lures, shaky head, jig, stand up. The first thing we see is a sticker. Color changes everything. And we got the tackle guide, so we'll open that now and go through it. First thing, the letter from Rick, the founder of the LTB. And there's also a bass fishing tournament this month that I'm also entered in. It started on the 15th. And uh, you win a lot of prizes here. It's five bucks to enter, and it's every month. It's a little bass tournament, and uh, I'm having fun doing it. I haven't won yet, but I'm really trying to get in the top 50 because top 50 get prizes, and I haven't made it yet, but coming soon, I'll get there. All right, the first thing I see is a Bagley Bako Shallow Balsa minnow open it up pull it out and uh this looks really good it's a little minnow like jerk bait man i can't wait to use this it's balsa wood so it's gonna like go down swim and then pop up this looks really good i can't wait to try it out and on here it said you can use it in humps ledges open water points and rip wrap and it's mid depth and the next one is smart bait smart bomb let me find this Oh, here it is. So this is the Smart Bomb, it's a stick bait. It's color changing, that's pretty awesome. Right now I see red and black. I guess when it's in the water, it shimmers and changes colors. And I like plastics a lot, and this looks amazing, and uh, we'll be using it soon. Full to be used everywhere. Grass, humps, ledges, turleys, weeds, brush piles, open water, rip wrap points, mats, docks, rocks, and trees. And it's top water, mid-depth, or bottom. So it's everything, you can use it everywhere. Next up is the Cabin Creek Express Bug. Here it is. It's in green pumpkin, and I like that color a lot. So it looks like a, like kind of like a tube bait with a little tail that flaps. I guess it creates bubbles in the water when it swims. It's a bottom bait, and you use it in grass, turleys, weeds, brush piles, mats, and docks. And I've never caught a fish on this, but uh, I'm hopeful because it's good color and it should get a lot of good movement in the water. Next up is the Strike King Rage Lizard. That's this. So the lizard, it's got. One, two, three, four, five points that wiggle in the water. A soft bait with big attitude. And it's a coffee scent. That's interesting. I've never seen a coffee scent on fishing yet. And so far I've never caught a fish on a lizard. So we're gonna try that out because I think the fish are in beds now and this should spook them and make them want to bite and eat it. And the bass may see it as a threat to the bed. And this location to use it in is grass, turleys, weeds, brush piles, and mats. And you also fish on the bottom. And this is the Bass XL exclusive. Next up, another Bass XL exclusive. It's the Knockout Bait Co. Sucker Punch. Over here. So it's really heavy. And it looks like a, like a, like a crappy kinda. So it's a bottom bait because it's so heavy. And you use it over humps, ledges, riprap, points, and rocks. And on here I said you can cast it a mile. It casts really well. And it's got a spoon on the back that, you know, shimmers in the water. Creates bubbles and, you know, action. This one's really interesting because it's, it's pretty heavy. All right, next up. We have the top five fishing superstitions. Number six, catching a fish on the first cast. Bad luck. This is the kiss of death for anglers. You get on the water at 6 a.m., you sail a beautiful cast, and boom, first cast, first fish. Then nothing the rest of the day. Well, for me, I often get skunked, so I wouldn't mind catching a fish on the first cast. That means um, I was lucky to catch that fish on the first cast. I'm hyped on that. If I don't catch anything else, it sucks, but it's, at least I caught a fish. But I will say, I think, I also believe that catching a fish on the first cast is most likely because you haven't thrown anything out there yet, so they haven't seen anything yet. So they might pounce on it quicker than later on when they've seen everything you've thrown. Number five, always wear your lucky hat. Just like baseball players don't change their socks during a winning streak, fishermen are notorious for claiming their hats or about them a big day in the water. They get stinky, smelly, and full of sweat stains, but you won't be caught on the water without it. Well, today I'm fishing without a hat because I got a haircut and uh, I don't feel like wearing a hat today. So we'll see what happens. And number four, Kiss your catch. The Irish believe that kissing the blurry stone will bring good luck. But anglers have something slimier in mind. If you want to make sure you catch your limit, plant a big old kiss on the bass. Jimmy Houston style. Well, uh, I'm not too much into kissing bass or fish in general. So uh, I've, never caught a, I've never kissed a fish and I'm not going to start today. Maybe next video though, we'll see. Number three, don't whistle while you fish. This is also a long held superstition of manners going way back. It was said that whistling would stir up the wind and bring about a storm. Apparently, it can also get you eaten by a great white. I'm 
pretty sure that's a Jaws reference, but I'm not positive. It is a Jaws reference. Quaint should have never been whistling on the Orca in Jaws. So I can't whistle, so no harm done. Number two, always release your first catch. Never keep your first fish of the day. Many anglers are catch and release nowadays, but if you're one to keep a few for dinner, don't make it the first fish. Always let that guy go, or you'll have bad luck the rest of the trip. So I always catch and release, so no problem there. Occasionally I do keep on saltwater trips, but occasionally. Number one, no bananas in the boat. This is definitely the number one superstition in modern fishing. Some guys will kick off the boat faster having a banana in your lunchbox. Ooh. Many believe this comes from shipwrecks going back to the 1970s, discovered with cargo loads of bananas floating nearby. Don't tempt fate and leave the banana on shore. Well, I've never used it, but I've been hearing that banana scent works great. I've also heard people use bananas daily on their on hooks and toss them out and catching bass. So I'm not sure if I buy that superstition or not, but pretty soon I'm gonna try bananas on a hook and see what happens. And the next article on here is Ask an Angler. And this month's guest angler is Nick Smith. So shout out to Informer Fisherman. He killed it and I've learned a lot from him. So I'll be sure to read this and learn more about fishing. And over here we got Meet the Lunchbox team. And that's the end of the taco guide. And inside we got some more stuff in here. We got the stand-up jig I told you earlier that was in place of the brush hog. So it's got legs on it, which is pretty cool. And it's got the hook, the jig hook with the weight, the shaky head. So it stands up, so it's gonna be interesting to use. It's the 316 ounce, and these for finesse worms, crawl dads, blizzard, tankos, grubs, and tubes. So I'll definitely try this later and see how it works. Then we also have some wide gap hooks from Katana and Triot. And I always use these because I use a lot of stick baits and tankos. And the last thing we have is some wipes for cleaning your hands when your hands get stinky, I think. So that's everything. That's all the box. And now I won't go fishing, but the fishing video will be on a dog's life. So you'll click the card above and down below in the description. You can watch that video of me fishing with this stuff. So thank you, Lucky Tackle Box. And if you like the video and want to see more, like one below, give it a thumbs up. Also leave a comment, let me know what you thought below. Thanks for watching guys, peace. Let's hear the box of the camera.